Hi guys, welcome back to the Auto Sportivo YouTube channel. Today's special, the sun's out, so that means the Integrale's out. And I'm gonna tell you today why I bought this car. Well, here we are in my Lancia Delta Integrale, 16 valve Evo 1. God, I love this car. Right, out of all the cars I've got, this for me, I would choose this hands down over the Ferrari. Keep your Lamborghinis, keep your Ferraris. I would pick up the keys to this and drive this home. Um, wherever you go, you're everybody's best friend. People put their thumbs up at you. Um, people want to come and talk to you at petrol stations. Um, it's just so respected on the road. I'm just going to tell you and talk to you why I brought one, why I've got one, and why I won't sell this car. And I brought it before the stupid boom prices. My God, how expensive are these cars now? But if you were lucky and fortunate to own one of these before the price hike, then I salute you. Um, what's this thing like to drive? It's like a go-kart. You feel so connected to the road with this car, like you feel you're part of it. I wish you at home could sit behind here and experience what I feel. Such a joy and pleasure to drive. The only thing is sometimes left-hand drive can be a bit of a pain when I want to pull out. I've got some, the cameraman's big head here. If you could put the camera on people's faces, everyone just stares at this car. As you know, this is a rally legend and it doesn't come much better than this. Uh, six World Rally Championships on the trot and it all started off with just the Lancia Delta. This is my third one, so I've owned a Lancia Delta Integrale 8 valve and I've actually owned a Lancia HF Turbo, another amazing car to drive, really love that one, uh, 1.6 turbocharged 8 valve, just front wheel drive and then this, my Evolution, always wanted an Evo, always and um, this just happened to come up at the wrong time when I didn't even want to, I wasn't looking or nothing, a friend of mine got in touch with me and said somebody that he knows is selling his Lancia Integrale, do I want to buy it, you need to come up here and have a look. So I left early on a Saturday morning, travelled all the way to Great Yarmouth and when I saw this sat in his garage I was like wow, it's only done 35,000 miles, it's never been restored. Underneath looks like brand new. Um, I'll put some, I've got some pictures of what it's like underneath so you guys can see it. It's amazing. Um, and then, yeah, brought it off him. Won't tell you how much I paid for it. Drove it home from Yarmouth and everybody just beeping at me, putting their thumbs up at me. You can lip read what they're saying. Wow, integrally. It's like, yeah. Cool. Um, yeah, but this car, I wasn't going to go with this. I feel like it's too nice that I just can't enjoy it anymore because it's too nice. It's a garage queen, only comes out when the weather's like this. But because it's too nice, I get worried when I take it out if someone's going to go into it. Because if someone goes into it, let's face it, I ain't going to be able to replace it. So yeah, it's just become a garage queen. I only take it to shows. Last year, we were invited to the London Classic Car Show at Scion Park at the Hilton Hotel. Um, Richard Hammond was there and he had his thing going on. And this was here parked next to an F40. Um, so it's been there. Um, it was at Yanomai's because this ain't actually original Jello Ginestro Yellow. It's um, Verdi, it's Derby Green underneath, which is still a nice colour. 
But if you watch the Yanomai's video, you'll see why I had it wrapped. And um, it's, it looks like paintwork, but it's such a good wrap, so I highly recommend them. Um, but yeah, I wanted it wrapped yellow, because I always wanted a yellow evolution from when I was a little boy. And I've done it for two reasons, really. Because I always wanted a yellow integrale, and having this at Yanomizes, it boosted my business brand name, boosted my Instagram, boosted everything. So really, it was like two things at once. So yeah, if you haven't seen the video, go onto Yanomizes' YouTube video, and um, we'll put, a, we'll put the, a link below and you can watch the whole episode on this being wrapped. And even when this car was there, and they do a lot of supercars, everybody was interested in the Integrale. No one cared about the Ferraris and the Lambos, it was the Integrale everybody wanted to go and see. And I think this is the only one he's wrapped. Right, why did I buy Integrale? I actually brought an Integrale 11 years ago. Um, when I was at school, it was my GCSE artwork. I drew a Lance Integrale, always wanted one. My homework diary was covered with snippets of pictures of Integrales. Growing up in the 80s and the 90s, watching it on the TV, back then when it was on Channel 4, World Rallying, just sitting there thinking, wow, I want one, I want one. And um, yeah, so 11 years ago, I managed to buy my first one, a red one, eight valve, which I absolutely loved. And then um, this come along and I end up selling the red one and keeping this. Upgrades, I haven't really done much to this. I want to keep it original, but I did change the exhaust. Um, tank Barrett sorted me out. I've got a Ragazon exhaust, stainless steel from the turbo all the way back. And the only other thing I've done is I've changed the shocks and springs. Um, again, from Tank Barrett, it just firmed it up a little bit. Not gone too crazy because my red one had coil overs on it and I think it ruined it. It's just too crashy. Also, I think, um, if you go crazy on suspension, you can start developing stress cracks. They suffer from stress cracks, which this hasn't got, and I don't want it to develop stress cracks neither. But they're the only two upgrades I've done on this car. Otherwise, under the bonnet, it's all standard. I've had so many silly offers on this car. When people come and see me, and I've turned them all down. Like the Uno, really. I've had people offer me stupid money on that, and I just won't sell it. I think sometimes, in life, it's not about money, it's about what makes you happy. And um, this and the Uno Turbo make me happy. And I'd, I wouldn't sell it, I just won't sell this. I'll pass this down. One thing I do love about this car, apart from the way it drives and handles, is how special the clocks look, like they're from a nuclear submarine. The dials are so cool. What do you reckon then? What do I reckon? I think it's beautiful. No yeah. sunroof there, is there? No, that's not a good point. Back that off then. What off? The car. What, because no sunroof? Need a sunroof. It's got a mirror. No? Oh, get it out. What's this? Old, it? Yeah, it is old. Can I start it up, Ant? No. no. Get out of it. <laughs> get out of it. No one sits in that seat. No one? No. There's no one driven it? No, get out. It's not very nice, is it? He's like it, JP's driven it. JP's driven it? No, I haven't. Haven't you? Oh. I really want to start it. Do it. I mean, don't do it. Get out! 
Do it, do it. Can I start it? No, you've moved my seat. Mm, yeah. Get out. <laughs> I mean, don't start it. Though. Can I start it? No. Oh, God, I really want it. I've been in the Ferrari, I can't even go in this. This is old. It's nice, though. I'd rather this than the Ferrari. Yeah, me too. But I'd take it across the field. I feel like it needs to go across the field. I mean, maybe I'll scan. Or a bit of grass. Can we take it across the field? No! <laughs> I'm guessing that was a no. It's built for it, though, isn't it? I mean, it is a rally car. What does this one do? It's very shiny, though. What does what do? Not bad. Back with me. <laughs> there is literally no room in here. Look how short it is. It's quite small. Uh, you're not eating the top though. That's because I'm an average size human. How tall are you? 5'10". I'm 5'11". Yeah, but my hair is brisking it. If I was an extra inch, then I'd be like in it, wouldn't I? It's literally rubbing on the roof. It was for Italian people, it's small. You wouldn't want to rally in the back, would you? Uh, no. I think you'd die. Break my neck. Mm. Well, I wouldn't want to go on a long journey in this. Although, as a normal sized person, I'm, I don't feel too uncomfortable in here. I think I'm okay. I'm very uncomfortable. Well, yeah, but you're bigger than me, so. What the fuck is this? We're having a party. It's not comfortable in the back. Look, my head's hitting the roof. Mm. Come on, I'm getting kicked out of the car and it's not even moving. <laughs> it's too precious. <laughs> Get out of my car. Right guys, so that concludes today's um, episode on one of my own personal cars, the Lance Integrale. Um, I don't know why John Paul is standing next to me. He thinks he's in this episode. No, we missed you today, so I wanted you in it. Sorry, he's been inside working hard and he's he's pissed off. With yeah, he is. But I wanted to give him some limelight today because we missed him. Um, yeah, so one of my cars. So hope you liked it. Don't forget to click like, subscribe, and when we see you next, we'll do another one of my collectors, maybe the Ferrari. That's coming soon too. Uh, future episode, we'll be going to Wales with Tank Barrett, uh, the Lancy Delta Club. We'll be taking this. Hopefully, we won't be breaking down in it. Um, but yeah, thank you for watching. Please click subscribe. This is what you need a truck with a stick. Everyone can get in the back of that. And you can get some chickens in the back if chickens is what you need. I don't think I need chickens. Get a goat. Lucky.